I have an SV104 noise dosimeter attached to my copy of Swantec Supervisor. I'm looking at the Instrument Download tab at the list of uh, stored runs. I've chosen this one, this one and this one to download. I click on the download button here and I have the choice here to watch the download of these three runs. This is the run in progress at the moment. There's the first run downloaded. Here's the second run downloading. And here's the third run downloading. I can just turn that off. Watch what's going on here. As soon as the three runs are downloaded, the software immediately goes to the data browser and to the last downloaded folder in the recent folder here and we see our three runs. I'm going to select one of the runs now to manipulate a little bit further to produce uh, a short summary report. Now that I've downloaded my three runs I'm going to look at uh, producing uh, a quick summary report uh, on one of them. The process is the same for all three of them but let's just try one of them. Let's choose this one. So I am going to choose this particular run. First of all we need to uh, add a location where this measurement was made. Currently there's nothing that's allocated to it so I choose new and this measurement was done in the workshop. So I type in workshop, click OK and that now appears under the location column. User, this is the name of the person that was uh, wearing the dosimeter. Again nobody in our database at the moment so let's choose a new name here. Let's have this person as the one that was monitored. OK, I will auto size the columns now so that we can see what we were doing and if we want to we can also allocate a task for this person. Um, what should we have him do? Let us say planing. OK, so here is our allocation of the place, the person and the task that that person was doing while these measurements were being made. And you'll see now that this information as well as being displayed in the table of results here has also been added to the assigned folder over here. Here's our workshop, John Smith and the task of planing. So I can select the task at the top of this little tree here, right click and choose Generate Summary Report. So here I have a number of uh, templates that have been created and used. Uh, we'll go with the example template for noise dosimetry first. So we select that one from the list. Uh, if there wasn't one already available we would create a new one. But we have some here so let's select this one. Let's go to Next. If we need to uh, filter for a date range we can do that but we'll leave that for the moment. Let's go to finish. That now is going to be produced. The program will now show us the report that has been generated. Uh, here is the uh, office program that I have uh, installed on my PC showing the basic report that we've generated really quickly. The same thing would happen if we had a copy of Microsoft Office. This is the information that we need uh, and we can print this out. Uh, the database will save it uh, and keep it safe for us. Now let's just close that for the moment. Okay, That now will also appear in the summary report, here is our list of reports. This is the summary report we've just created on today's date, at today's time. And we can open that up again just simply by double clicking it from here and it will open up from the database just as we saw before. Okay, now in here if we need to we can add more text. Um, very noisy. This 
is uh, going to be saved for us. Let us save that, keep current format, and we now have uh, a modified document that shows us the information about the measurements that we made on John Smith. So this is in our summary report list, back to our library where we see our original information. If we go back to our das last downloaded folder, we'll see our three runs. We've allocated the location user and task information to the first run. Let's do the same thing with one of the other runs. So let's choose this one uh, and also choose that this one was done in the workshop. This time this was done on somebody called Mike Brown. And they were again planing. So now you can see over here we have uh, a tree structure being generated. In the workshop we have two separate measurements, John Smith, Mike Brown, each with one measurement associated with them. But in the workshop now we have two recordings. So if I highlight the workshop and right click and choose to generate a summary report this time, as we did before with our example template for noise dosimetry, next finish the measurement report has been produced this time we have two pieces of information Mike Brown and John Smith both in the workshop so it's very easy to produce a quick summary report uh, exactly as you have seen here. So when we download a single run or multiple runs they immediately go into the recent folder last downloaded. Here are our three runs. If I now close Supervisor and restart it maybe uh, later today or tomorrow or in a week's time then we will see in the data browser that the files now no longer appear in the last downloaded. That's only a temporary uh, folder to display runs that were current during the last session of using Supervisor. But don't worry, our runs have not disappeared. They have also gone into our main catalog. This is our filing cabinet for our runs that we've downloaded they are in the appropriate instrument which was the SV104. If I highlight this you'll see my last three runs log 26, 36 and 37 in the workshop on John Smith, Mike Brown doing the planing job. So here are our runs for next time when we need them. The assignments that we added and are shown in the table here are still displayed in our panel at the left here I just expand that. Here's our workshop. Here are our two workers and here are the tasks that each of them was uh, doing. So this is our information. Now previously I right clicked on the uh, appropriate node here under the assigned folder and chose generate summary report and chose the example template. Let's just look at how we would actually create a different one by creating a new one. So we click here, we give the template a name, my template, for example, and make sure that the application chosen matches our measurement that we want to look at, so noise dosimetry. This side represents the information that we'll see in text format. So these are the available results, these are the currently selected results, the date and time of the measurement, the duration of the measurement. We want a little bit more information than that, so let's go down and look at the uh, information that may be uh, significant here. We'll put in the calibration date, uh, we'll have the pre-calibration date, so we have a record of doing the calibrations. We want a little bit of information here as well that will be useful. The projected eight hour dose and 
the time weighted average. So let's select those, use the control key to select two of them, and then add those to the selected results here. So this is the text information. This is essentially this information that we see at the left here, but we also need to choose some information to show in our chart. So at the moment we have nothing available, so let's choose the uh, LEQ L average from the time history and the peak level from the summary result. And let's just have also the maximum level from the summary result. Add those, leave this at auto scale so that the chart is uh, maximized to fit the best way it can on the display. Simply click OK. And now we'll select this one, choose next and finish again. And here is our new summary report that we've just generated. So the information that we wanted shown at the left and the chart at the right. Scroll down a little bit and we'll find the second one with the information that we choose. Again, this is just a basic text document now. We can add our own comments to this if we want.